Okay, so this track here, it's a little bit broken here. And um, so we got a new replacement track here and we just got to pop it on. So first, what we want to do first is start it up and uh, lift that side off the ground so we can work on it. So I'm just going to go start it up. So now we got the track plenty off the ground there. And now we need to undo this cover here. And behind this cover, there's going to be another um, nut that we need to take off. And that'll release all the grease in the cylinder that keeps the track, um, keeps the track in tension. So these bolts here were five eighths. Now we just wriggle that around. Now we have a nut here and inside the nut is a grease nipple. And um, so basically we need to undo the outside of it. Um, we need a flathead screwdriver just to uh, pry it down a bit. But um, it looks like we'll need a big socket and I'm not quite sure what socket we'll need um, one second I'll okay so I found a socket that fits it's a uh, 27 millimeter and now we can just I should be able to open it up there we go Problem is the cylinder rotates a little bit, so once you take the socket off, it's sort of hard to get back on. But we got it back on. Now we're basically turning that all the way out so that all the grease can come out. Okay, so we got this whole screw out, and now when we pull on the track, you should see, um, one second there, when we pull on the track, grease should start to come out. See the grease starting to come out of that hole there, just like that. And that just the cylinder basically is just uh, being compressed, and then all the fluids, like the grease, starts to decrease. We get pushed out. So now, now the track's nice and loose. I should be able to pull it off. May take a little bit. Crowbar. Crowbar will probably work. So we'll get a crowbar and then uh, maybe we'll start it up and then um, if we can get the track rotating then we can just uh, pull it off. So we'll just start it up.
this new track here that we put on. Um, so if I'm not mistaken, I think this track is a little bit smaller. So we'll have to see how that fits in. track on. So basically the wheelbase here, it's going to be easier if we just pull it together a lot more. So we're going to get a ratchet strap around this wheel here in the front end and then just tie it together really tight and uh, it should push it all the way in and then we should have a much easier time. Okay, so I got the ratchet strap around. And then I'm just going to push this piston in, then more grease will come out of here. It's looking really good. Okay, and that's the end of the piston. So now we can try put that track on again. Alright, so we're just going to focus on this one and hopefully the dry motor will be able to pull it on. the groove in the right groove and now we basically have to put that screw back in and then uh, fill it back up with grease okay so now we're good to tighten up that uh, nut there and I just got it started so we're good to turn it in there's the uh, right ratchet there. there we go
Okay, so it's in enough. Now we're just going to see if we can't get the socket on there. It's going to be tricky. Kind of the long extension. Not right size. Okay, so now we got our uh, long one in. Now I can push on here. Then I can pull up here. And now I can push it in. Now I can tie it on. I have to make sure we tighten it, of course. Nice and tight. Oh, let's get it right there. Okay, that's on nice and tight. Now let's get the socket out. All right. So far, so good. Having to resort to the old fashioned way. Just supposed to be resting on top of these. So I think this is tight enough. Actually, it might need to be a little bit tighter. Yeah, that's kind of like there. A few more pumps, maybe. That's a little bit too much, I think. But that should be good. So there we have it. We got the track on. Uh, we just need to f uh, find a new grease and uh, zerk for this. Because um, it's just leaking back out. And that's no good way to hold the uh, tension on the track. So once we get that fixed, we're good to go. Thanks for watching.